Phoenix with another guitar of the day. This time we are going back into the late 70s, early 80s for a reissue of Fender's Lead series. And whoo, this color, I'm telling you, adjust your TV screens or your iPhone screens. This is neon green, this thing. So, ah, look out. So, uh, let's talk about the Fender Lead series. First of all, it was introduced to the world in 1979. And uh, this were you, guitar. Were you born yet? I was. I was already buying Kiss records by then, man. That's how old I am. I have no comment on that. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, in, uh, so it's 1979. That's when uh, the Lead 1 and the Lead 2, what we've got here today is a Lead 2. The Lead 1 had one humbucking pickup, the Lead 2 has two single coil pickups. And later, in 1982, they released something called the Lead 3. Guess how many pickups that had? Um, That's right, Greg, two. Exactly. <laughs> two humbuckers, sort of an HH thing right there. All right, so uh, so the lead series just lasted for three years in 1982. It was all over, and they have gone into the dustbin of history until now, 2020, when Fender has reissued it. Uh, made in Mexico, they have got the, the Lead 2 and the Lead 3 out in uh, their original colors and these sort of neon colors. Dustbin of history? Thank you very much. Wow, that's, uh, <laughs> I, let me reflect on that. Okay, good. That's where my KISS records are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so notable musicians that have used uh, the Lead series from Fender back in the day, the first guy was Steve Morris from the Dixie Dregs, and now he's, of course, uh, been the guitar player for Deep Purple for 25 years. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't Hendrix use one? Hendrix was long gone by the time these came out, so <laughs> there's that. There's Hendrix on the phone now. Exactly. So, the, <laughs> so another notable user was legendary guitarist Bono from U2. And he's a shredder. He's, uh, you should hear him do Eruption on his lead series back in around 1982. <laughs> so yeah, so those are the two main ones. There's been a lot of players over the years, but those are the ones that jumped out. Uh, somewhere in a hard rock cafe, a guitar hangs on the wall that is uh, purportedly uh, Eric Clapton's lead. I want to say it was a lead too. Yeah, he used it as a memory. <laughs> uh, but I, ha I can't, haven't found a picture of Eric Clapton actually using uh, it on stage. Why? How odd. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, let's break down what we have here. We're going to check this thing out. Um, so we'll get in tight here, Greg. I want to show you a few things that are, that are going on here. Uh, so well, this that is, is green, isn't it? I'm telling you, it's like the Incredible Hulk here. Um, so anyway, two. Uh, single coil pickups here. Uh, these are basically the same pickups you'd find in a Mexican Strat. So it's the Fender Alnico uh, Stratocaster pickups here. No middle pickup there. Um, notice Richie Blackmore would love that. He would, yes. Also, uh, this slant on this one's pretty interesting too. Like notice they're slanted in the in the same manner there. And uh, I believe this is an older body. Whatever the uh, Mexican Strats are these days, you remember is it Alder? Could be Alder or. or or basswood basswood I, I don't think it's basswood I think it's then I it would be older. older yeah maple neck you can get it in a rosewood pa uh, Powell Paul Farrow. Paul Farrow. thank you um, that's what they use for rosewood check out the old-timey fender lead series that is a replica of what they did back in the day and uh, vintage tuners it's actually a very cool guitar. I, I actually it, really and hear it's a it. Bu budget guitar, so it's not going to break the bank, and it actually sounds and plays really good. We have sold a number of them. I know we have sold one, um, many of them. I wanted to. Um, well, we've sold some of the lead threes. As threes, well. yeah, threes are cool. Um, so the pickup configuration is unique. Um, we've got these two switches. If there's anything that that. Um, people malign about these guitars, you know, gets maligned is these switches are very close together. So, you know, these big, big hands are like, well, I just want that one. And you're kind of like fumbling for them, but whatever, it's part of the charm. It's how, the, how it was back in 1979. So right now we're on the bridge position pickup here. <laughs> Dixie Drags, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, hang, on, so. hang on. Someone get me a hanky. <laughs> Greg does not believe that there's any other guitar player in uh, Deep Purple except for Richie Blackmore and 
Tommy Bowling. Okay, so let's flip it on over to the uh, neck position pickup here. <laughs> Richie Blackmore, right? No, that was Bono. Oh. Uh, well, you too. This is probably played by The Edge, but whatever. <laughs> sounding right yep all right we'll go to the middle here this is where uh, things get kind of interesting because it really does capture like a telecaster um, middle position switch where you have both pickups on uh, so we kind of get that funky telecaster That's thing spanky that spanky telecaster <laughs> Now here's where things get a little wild. Hang on, I think Bono's calling because he's Sorry, complaining. Sorry, Bono. <laughs> so we've got this other switch, and uh, somebody pick up. Bono really wants to talk. Come on. So we got this other switch here, and what it does is it puts it uh, a little phase cancellation on this only in this middle position. This this is where things get a little quacky, like it gets really quacky. So here it is, and here it comes. Wow, is that quacky or what? That's that, actually kind of cool. I know, it's very unique. Like, the, you can't get that sound really uh, in another location, to, to my knowledge. It's like a flock of angry mallards coming at you. Is it flock or is it a murder of mallards? Yeah, murder of crows. Mur <laughs> so yeah, so that's the lead twos pickup configuration and just for fun, let's put a little distortion on it here. So I'm in the bridge position here. Just I'm playing, uh, oh, my pedal. Electroharmonic soul food. Uh, one of my favorites, if not my definite favorite uh, of their overdrive pedals, Soul Food. It's got a very transparent sort of yeah. tone to it, so it just kind of lets the amp and the pickups do the work. Totally. Great Steve Morris on guitar on that song from Deep Purple. <laughs> There it is, that's the lead two. And, uh, and now before you start yeah. sending in a bunch of stuff about Steve Morris and we like Steve Morris. I do, I do. I just don't like him in Deep Purple because Because Richie Blackmore is Richie Blackmore is the man. Yes. However, if you are a Steve Morris fan, we would definitely tip our cap to you, and Steve is technically and in every way a great player. So get off our backs! Yes, all right, and then... <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for very much for watching and subscribing to our little channel here, and, uh, you know, like, subscribe, and do all those things. Tell other friends and all that stuff. You know how it goes. Um, and we'll see you right back here next time for and, our next video here at Bizarre Guitar. And, and Steve, we love you. <laughs>